Hello and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video I'm going to explain the pipe drive deal rotting feature which can cause some confusion and if you don't have it set right can mess up your pipeline as well. If you have any questions at the end of this video please leave me a comment below and tell me what you want to learn more about so I can make videos that you're interested in. And check out the links and details in the description to learn more about how you can get one-on-one -on -one consulting and support from me if you need help with pipe drive. There's also details of how you can extend your pipe drive trial to 45 days days if you're new to Pipedrive and you can find details of my signing up to my newsletter and getting Pipedrive tips to your inbox. So first off what the deal rotting feature is designed to do is designed to highlight deals that are going stale and haven't received any attention for a while in your pipeline. So looking at my pipeline here you can see there's a couple of deals in the prospect column and one over here it needs to find that are starting to rot and if I hover my mouse on there it says there's been no action for more than one day that's beyond the rotting time. Now, this is prompting me to go and take action because I've been leaving these deals for too long. I should have done something with them by now based on the rotting time for this particular stage. So let's look at how we can customize the rotting time and look at uh, working out the best way to set those times uh, for each stage. So firstly, you may need to enable the deal rotting feature <clears throat> from your features uh, menu. So you can find that down here. Make sure deal rotting is turned on. Then if you go to your pipeline settings, you can click on a particular stage and you'll be able to then set a rotting a number of days. So deals will start to rot in this case after three days of inactivity. Inactivity is defined as basically you haven't touched the deal. So you haven't completed or scheduled an activity. You haven't updated any of the custom fields or obviously you haven't moved the deal. In this case, if I go to a different stage, you can see for, uh, further down the pipeline, I've got it set to a different number of days. So after 14 days at the proposal set, sent stage, deals will start to rot. So how do you go about deciding what a number of days to put on each of the stage. Well, firstly, you're gonna to need to think about your sales process. Do you have a long or a short sales cycle? And obviously the stage of the actual uh, workflow. So generally, when you have newer leads or deals, uh, new prospects, new leads, you generally want to respond to and act upon pretty quickly while the leads and deals are nice and fresh. So in this case, I've set my prospect rotting time to three days. Whereas further down the pipeline, maybe after a proposal or a quote has been sent, it's much more reasonable at this stage to allow more time to pass because I know that people in my case need to think about a proposal, get some approval. So setting a longer duration for deal rotting is acceptable. Something I always look at as well is in your reports. So coming up here to progress reports and if we look at deal velocity, obviously make sure you're, you're looking at the correct pipeline and a decent time frame. <clears throat> the deal velocity report will tell you on average how long deals sit in each stage of your pipeline. So looking at this, I can see for deals that are one, they'll generally uh, sit in the proposal sent stage for about two days, deals that'll last uh, a lot longer, about 12 days. And earlier on in my process, uh, prospects, it says zero days on average, um, because um, I'm obviously getting on them the same day. Um, so you can use use the numbers on this screen to start to make some decisions around when's a good time to what's a good time to set that rotting time at so for example at meeting a range you know it's on average three days for a one deal and I'm using the I'm looking at really the one deals because I want to look at of the deals that I've actually won in the past what was the average time or duration that they were at uh, each stage and I want to try and aim for that because if I'm waiting too long uh, it's uh, it's more likely that I'm going to be losing the deal because I'm not following up quick enough. So looking at this deal velocity report is a really good way to start to think about um, how you would put some numbers into your pipeline settings. Now just to explain this deal in, in uh, just show you how it works. So here's a few deals that are starting to rot. What I can do to uh, unrot them is just give them some attention, update them in some way. So in this case, this one, Mali, I can click on this arrow here. I have a call due in three weeks. What I could actually do is schedule an activity. Maybe I'm gonna follow up tomorrow. And you can see by scheduling that activity, it's no longer rotting because I've um, attended to the deal and I'm gonna follow up sooner so the deal is no longer rotting. So just to show you one more time, here's another one. It's been rotting for three days. Again, if I schedule an activity, let's say I'm gonna follow up later this week, 
and the deal is no longer rotting. So it's a really nice, just quick visual way that you can highlight the deals that need some attention because they haven't been touched in a while. This feature isn't for everyone. Some people don't like using the rotting feature, maybe because there's a good reason why a deal needs to be in a certain stage, but it's a useful feature worth experimenting with and uh, to help you make sure you are following up with those leads in a timely manner. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will see you in the next video.